there, everyone, and welcome back to the Age of Imperials mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha11. Right now, I've actually gone ahead and done one other focus off screen called the Putting an End to the Nobility Intrigues. The Russian aristocracy has proven or proved its utter uselessness. Over the last century, therefore, the privileges of the nobility will be deprived of them for good, and the estates of those aristocrats who survived th thanks to them will be sold to more honest and, of course, worthy people. Now, I don't really want to get rid of the enhanced role of Krana, because that does. Right now, it currently gives us more political power. We get Okrana, the guarantee of internal order and stuff like that, but we could really use more political power. I'm not going to lie. We could really use more political power. So, And this one, what does it really, really give to it to us? The third row on the way would be good to get to eventually, but um, I haven't done this one either one yet. And once we did this one and then the stable base for military needs, these all opened up. And I did say I would probably do drunken budget just because why not? We lose a lot of stability, but why not? Um... I, I read this one earlier, but while this is morally doubtful, maintaining a monopoly on alcohol seems to bring unimaginable gains to our treasure of the state. Maintaining a monopoly on alcohol enables us to do many good things in the future. And then, strengthening the Russian scientific base. Russia is home to many outstanding scientists. Funding the universities where they work should significantly accelerate the achievement of new te technological advances. So we're building up quite a few cities, as you can see. And uh, maybe a Italy or two. So let's see, what do we have here? Fighters and stuff. We got that boom, boom, boom. Not bad. Right, it's only 33, so we got a little bit of time, hopefully. Let's get some more artillery. Plane-wise, 32 is fine. We're not going to go with cast, I guess, for this campaign. Which is fine. Try out something a little different and not get cast. Uh, industry, 33. Use more extraction, I suppose. That wouldn't be too bad. Even though we could use a, uh, quite a bit more rubber. Quite a bit more. Wow. We don't have a lot of rubber here in the world, do we? Oh, that kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Um, Loch Ness Monsters, they saw what? Early tactical bombers. Very nice. Uh, cruiser ship hull, 32, yeah, probably be worth investing in, nothing there, nothing, yes, yes, battleship armor dose, yes, please, get some anti-air, battleship twos, yes, 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 and thank you very much, and we're almost there, and boomerinos, there we go, nice, not bad, two destroyer holes, yeah, no thanks, and... Cruisers. I do like me some cruisers. Let's go with some light cruisers this time around. Active sonar is fine. We got plenty of naval XP. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We got a few columns to go through as well. Light cruiser batteries. Uh, secondary batteries are pretty good too. Anti air. Yes, please. Um, yeah, I'll probably get some anti sub stuff because that's pretty. Mind you. Pretty good. Cool. Low shell on support since we've got so much of that. How are we doing in Spain here? Well, we're doing A-OK. -okay. Not perfect, but we're doing A-OK. -okay. And then we'll do that one. Followed up with Renewal of the Siberian Colonization Program. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll wait, because after this, we're consumer goods. Uh, oh, we do get quite a bit more political power. The golden age of the Russian economy. Yes. Russia may not have... A has not only a large, but also very resource-rich territory. Providing these deposits at an appropriate price to domestic foreign investors will cement our position on the global market. Nice. But can we both come here? So we can take these guys out. Then we can encircle and destroy these guys. And... Come on... Come on. Oh, they're attacking us too. Come on. Come on. They keep throwing more guys in here, and we keep winning here, so not too bad. Sergei, I hope you do great. Oh, come on. Hey, there we go. Nice. Nice. Wow, five divisions. Not too bad, I'd say. Completely surrounded in the hills. Domingo Batat Mestres. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. We get free market. Uh, actually, what are we on right now? Regulated market, huh? That's not too bad either. That's not bad. Follow it up with... Oh, we have to. Mm, that's not bad. Th things making a bang. Well, oh, that's not bad. We do want to use quite a bit of mechanized and motorized, so we'll see. That's actually really good. Coyote Shia is pretty nice, awesome to have. Uh, there's the consumer goods, though. That's not bad either. Well, mm, terror of enemy tanks, not bad, well, especially for tank destroyers. Uh, that's not bad either. I think we're just going to keep going back down this way. Saving of the activities of the Krana. The Krana has provided Russia with amazing services in the history of its activity. A permanent strengthening of its competences and the increase in resources at its disposal will ensure Russia a peaceful future. Nice. Nice. Those divisions all die. That's awesome. Welcome here. Well, maybe we'll do a general attack later on, but like I want to see what, if we can actually do anything here yet. Yeah, uh, just I'll go there. That's fine. Can we get 1.07 political power every single day? Not bad, not bad. We have effects of the Great Purge still, which will be removed later. Wow. In like six years. Wow, that sucks. Bro, that sucks. 
Uh, you still might be able to win here. Kind of surprising. But that's okay with us. And yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, I think you're this one yesterday, so if you want to be this, please go ahead as well. First solo flight around the world. Very cool, very cool. Nice. Alright, disturbing, disturbing, which we don't want to see. But we'll see what happens. If you didn't get over here, that'd be awesome. Excavation 2. Go with more rubber for now, because we could always use more rubble, rubble, rubble. Repro joins the Reich's pack. Not good. Anti tank. Get some more anti air. Even though it doesn't look like we're really making anti air, but whatever. Heck, we're making some strap bombers too. Wow. Fancy. Great movers of the Grand Armée. Oh boy. Yeah, someone does recommend we, we should be very careful about how everything is proceeding just because you never know how how great or how poorly some things are going to go for us. So, we just got to be careful. Nice. There we go, them Dutch boys. And then we'll do... That's one. Yeah. Beautiful. Argentina joins the Reich's pack as well. Uh, very nice. Oh, look at all this stuff here. Romania joins the Reich's pack. Infantry offensives. Um, motorized infantry. Tank organization would be nice. I'd rather have it on this. these guys' mechanized offensives. So... Orthodox Brotherhood with Ethiopia. Our Grand Principal is in Kingdoms. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was another comment saying that a lot of these things do take a ton of political power, so... We don't exactly have that yet, so... Yeah. The strength in the position of the army. High ranking officers of the Tsar's army should be able to con contact the Emperor quickly, enabling him to be up to date with the affairs of the Russian army. In these troubled times, the Russian armed forces must be ready to react quickly to an ever-changing situation. Oh, well, look at this. Not bad. Pretty good. Rubber processing. It's still 33, of course. Let's grab some of that because that could be very beneficial for us. And you guys just head on in. Yeah, I think the war in uh, Spain here is pretty much over. We've done pretty darn well. We've only lost 50,000 people, that's all. Just casually 50,000 people. Get some dispersed buying and uh, use and abuse it as much as you possibly can while we still have it. Uh, excavation. 34. Well, actually, we could probably do that stuff. Actually, you know what's good? Just, just do that one. Research speed would be a very beneficial to all nation. It's becoming a trickster, too. Nice. Mark in uh, the historical role of Russia. Eh, that's not bad. But this one's even better. Reform the table of ranks. The rank table is a great invention of the time of the Beatles the Great. Which, unfortunately, which, which, unfortunately, became playground of the aristocracy as over time the rank table became an incubator of, of an overgrown bureaucracy filled with the families of Russian nobility. Another purge has significantly weakened them. It's going to implement a form that will end the heck of the Russian bureaucracy. Nice. Oh. Six more divisions are very nice. Um, yeah, the other stuff is going to be okay up there. And I know we have panzers up here too, but yeah, go do that one too. And making the marking the historical role of Russia. The great propaganda campaign should still be present. Russia has far too many external enemies for assistance to ever think they are completely safe. And there we have it, my friends. I've already gone ahead and done the enlightened auto autocracy of Eon the First. Emperor Eon I turned out to be worthy of his position, which undoubtedly helped to stabilize Russia and carry out the necessary actions aimed at restoring the internal order. Many journalists compare the current order or emperor to Alexander III, who ruled Russia in a similarly authoritarian and wise way. So we got we need more manpower, and we need more than 199 factors, which is quite a bit, but it makes sense. And which we then become very quite expansionist, but we'll have to wait for that. Uh, what do we want to do next? Infantry in the face of modern war, air programs, air doctrines. Air and Army XP. Oh, that's not bad. Actually, that's ambitious technological projects. There are many outstanding innovators in Russia whose ambitious projects are just waiting for someone interested in them to appear. In view of the troublesome situation in the world, it would be reasonable for us to be that someone. Naval doctrine, new political power. Well, that's not bad. Formation of the Coastal Air Guard. A few bombs and torpedoes can sink even the best ship. The more we are able to drop, the sooner we can dominate the seas at minimal cost. Yes. Feeding machine, nice. Go and grab, um, keep grabbing some of this stuff. Because we did win the war in, in Spain here, which is pretty nice. Hopefully we can get them with us. But we'll see what happens as we're looking at kind of just the world and what it may have to offer us. Or just kill us with, but whatever. Uh, let's see, can I get 1.64 political power every single day, which is pretty darn nice. Um, uh, do want to lose 
too much here. It's not bad. Reaction movement is growing in strength. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. But we can't let this happen. An unfortunate consequence, but so well. Let's go with what? Uh, hmm. Roman von Ungern becomes new Prebaltica leader and replaces Boris Vladimirovich. Oh, let's do our grand principal of the kingdom. Poland Prebaltica Pre and Finland are quite troublesome regions in which the authority of the Russian can often be under undermined. So we should make efforts so that these countries retain their loyalty to us during the hour of trial. Nepal Bihar. I do want to do stuff so with Poland though, which would be kind of nice for the defense network. Well, that's not bad. Oh. Poland is west flank of the Soyuz Niks. Ethiopia is very weird. Oh, we get a lot of political power. Ethiopians are part of this ally with whom we have the centuries of friendly relations. We should try to help the Ethiopians to keep up with the world so that they can continue on to maintain their independence at the last independent state. As the last independent state of Africa. Let's keep going with that stuff. Happy 1934, everybody. Let's go ahead and keep getting some more radar. Sure, why not? Mother Nagants. Let's go and grab some of that tank stuff. Fine with us. Uh, Ethiopia, Army XP, Air XP, North Somalia land. Uh, what do we want? The Brotherhood of Empires. The Middle East, our Eastern friends. And the Far East, we have two quite important allies that allow us to constantly observe the Chinese theater and see what is happening there. Let's go with things that make a big bang. Marcel Brusilov undoubtedly remains an outstanding figure in the history of the Russian army, and his special legacy is increased attention to the role of artillery in the battlefield. Thanks to his valuable advice and the implementation of proposed reforms, it will be possible to maximize the effectiveness of our artillery. Nice. Keep going with infantry. Or just land doctrine stuff. That's super, 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 super important. There you go. Tanks are having strength. Infantry in the face of modern war. Uh, modern war requires less and less large infantry formations and more and more specialized units and subdivisions in return. Oh boy. Yeah, the Germans are at it again. Yeah, getting more artillery south attack would be really nice. Medium tanks, light tanks. Oh, wait, did I say I want to get. Yeah, we're going to go with heavy, so. Uh, you know what? We don't have to do the mediums. Let's see, 34. Uh, signals, maybe. We'll see. Let's go move here and do this one. That's fine. Let's do that. I like that. Uh, yeah, more divisions would be pretty nice. Cavalry. Cavalry. Where's the cavalry? One? Drunken budget. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Hurts the consumer goods was by 3%. Really want to get rid of cavalry at this point. Then again, this hurts the consumer goods as well, but we do get more political power, so. However, this will have to be associated with the some concessions in the direction, because if we want the Cossacks to abandon the current way of fighting, it's reasonable to encourage some of them first to our arguments. We have a sniper call, it's not bad. Uh, the era of great constructors. Names such as Dikterev, Fedorov, or Tokarev are known to every Russian soldier. These outstanding weapon designers are ready to surprise us with their armament projects more than once if they are if we are really ready to provide them with adequate support. Oh, yeah, definitely gotta build some more of this stuff. One, two, three, four. There you go. Keep making a lot more millies. Because we're gonna need a lot of heavy tanks. The surgeon's photograph. Uh, go up to three there. We got plenty of that stuff. We need way more artillery. Oh, light tanks are fine. That's fine as well. Strategic bombers are okay. Get a lot of that. Get a lot of uh, that as well. A lot of that. Oh yeah, and we have yearly focuses. Thanks to the Keys uh, School of Economics, we've gathered enough materials to improve our situation on some fields. What should we boost this year? Is there factory construction speed? Uh, last time I did build up a whole lot more of our civilian economy, so we did that. Uh, open Sea Parade. Oh, another research slot would be good. Let's get, let's, yeah, let's get some more political power first. Oh, wow. Wow, this is different. Truck drawn rocket artillery. Medium tanks. Honestly, can you we merge these guys? You might as well merge them. What are we missing here? Mechanized. Oh wow. Okay, let's convert them all into one. Okay, there you go. This with this one, we can actually edit these divisions. I do love the mechanized, so we'll see what happens. Of course, then again, these guys 
do nothing for us since we don't have them unlocked yet, so... Mm. It's a bonus. We must have started getting that one done anyways. Artillery, rocket artillery. Hmm. Let's see. Nice. Britain stands tall. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more uh, things here because this 20 combo with is... Well, it's really all right. We're not doing great. And we definitely, at the very least, need some engineers. That would be important. Recon, I think, is pretty important as well, so... I'd love to have some of that, but cavalry attachments... As well. I think you guys pretty pretty standard. Uh, innovation of infantry anti-tank weapons? While the role of the armor on the battlefield seems to have increased more and more, it does not mean that the infantry remains helpless. The development of anti-tank weapons that could be used by each of our soldiers seems to be a beautiful concept. Build a sniper call. Although snipers are quite a young formation of our infantry, they already earned special fame in the Russian army. Gather the most outstanding of them in special centers where they can present their valuable experiences to a selected group of towns or shooters, but enable us to significantly strengthen the potential of our infantry. World Cup 1934? It's only 34? Oh boy. Basic engines, keep going and get more stuff here. That'd be very, 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 very nice. We need some mechanized, some rocket artillery. Heavy tanks, medium tanks, yeah. We need a lot. Greeks in the tripartite. Alright, actually convert this to heavies. They're slow anyway, so that's fine. Alright, and what else? Tanks are our main strength. While the role of armor on the battlefield seems to increase more and more, does not mean that infantry remains helpless, of course. The development of uh, anti-tank weapons that could be used by each of our soldiers seems to be a beautiful concept, of course. Yes. Um, we're going to be making a lot of military factories. A lot. Well, build a sniper cult. And... Finland's loyalty issues. Finland is a valuable ally, but under the rule of Emperor Nicholas II's cousin, it began to drift away from the Russian Empire. Due to great aversion to such an event, the leadership uh, of this country should change. Someone says we, sh we became the empire of vodka and potatoes, and Mick Mr. Nicholas, Tsar Nicholas, needed some pills before he passed away. Yes, he definitely needed some more pills. Thank you very much. Tanks are our main strength. Yes, please. Follow it up with... Zinke Industrial District. The Finnish army cannot rely solely on the supplies of weapons from Russia. It's necessary for the Finnish arms industry to be expanded. Which, we have them quite a bit. That's, that's honestly pretty darn awesome. Industrial grants and more. In order to become a more valuable ally, Finland must have a more secure economic position. Not bad. Pretty true. Portuguese in the tripartite. Yeah, we need some mechanized, but we're working on that. You see, you see us working on it, so. Keep getting more millies. Mechanized, finally. Mechanized. Go and grab that, too. Go with five. Go with ten there. Oh, uh, let's two. The elite among the Soyuzniki, Soyuznik troops. If the Northern War is about to break out again, the fans have better have the right motivation to fight on our side. Nice. Keep making the millies, 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 millies. Well, at least we got the fins under control for now, hopefully. Alright, so after that one. Uh, port expansion in northern Somaliland. Somaliad. The port in Somaliland is key when it comes to maintaining economic contacts with Ethiopia. Expanding will definitely improve them. Which is not bad. Awesome. And then... Because I would definitely want to help them out at least a little bit more. Uh, assistance in creating the arms industry. In the event of a war, we will undoubtedly lose the ability to, su to supply Ethiopia with the necessary military equipment, and therefore we should exp support the local military industry. Russian advisors. Ooh, it's not bad for them. Cool. Save Perbaltica from the buffoon of all time. Perbaltica remains a valuable ally ruled by a person not only impossibly incompetent, but even worse, not particularly loyal. The leadership in this country must be changed as soon as possible. Motors, rocket artillery, the armored cars, legionnaires. I'll grab some of that too, because I can. Why not? Central America. Are you guys killing each other yet? Not yet. Okay. Oh, look at Belgium. Wow. Sublime state of Belgium. 
Um, increase attention to our mobility of artillery. It's imperative that artillery has tractors specifically constructed for its needs, capable of transporting guns even along the most inaccessible roads or front lines. Yes, yes, yes. New artillery weapons designs. The world is moving forward all the time. We must not let our artillery lag behind. We must see to the further development of this type of weapon in order to maintain an advantage over our opponents. Wow, we've been building a ton of millies. Nice. <clears throat> Just nice. That's awesome. Do that. Do that. Uh, get more fighters out so we can start training them too. That's the air bases. Oh, hold on. Thank you very much. 600 is not great. One, two. There you go. There you go. Cut. Train. Awesome. Support weapons. Nice. Cool. Um, it's 34. It's almost... Eh, I get some excavation because you can. Why not? Screw it. Uh, mass production of Kayutia. Kayutia is a brilliant invention of our time and at the same time extremely simple. Equipped with specific scaffolding for launching rockets, these rockets... These trucks will not only be very cheap to produce and operate, but also deadly on the battlefield. Yes. Which we probably should get anyways. We'll see how much we're going to use them, but we'll see. We'll see. Definitely see. Um, where are you guys at? It's going to be an absolute bloodbath when we go to war with the Germans. Because we will go to war with the Germans, and let's be real here. Created more specialized armored vehicles. Self-propelled guns are a very good way to fully exploit vehicle chassis, which has become obsolete as a result of ongoing technological process. <clears throat> oh, SP light artillery. But nothing about heavy artillery. Nothing is wasted, huh? Cool. Oh, even less supply consumption is very awesome. The effects of the work of various design offices. The war is constantly changing, so we cannot allow our armored structures to cease to be the best on the battlefield. Our designers still have a few ideas that could help them implement. That we could help them implement. More manpower in the field. I always need more manpower, man. Oh wow, you guys are not that great. Um, engineers. Logistics probably would be good. Support rocket artillery. And then some artillery. And then some more artillery. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Ooh, truck truck drawn. 32, 31. Yeah, motorized artillery is still a little better. Rocket artillery. Uh -huh. Hmm. They're both three combat with. You slightly more piercing on this side, but you both screw it. Maybe twenty combat or something. Um, yeah. The line of animal hunters. Let's do this one first. Oh, there's motorized rocket artillery now. God dang it! I have a thirty-five though. I have thirty-five. Let's go for this one too. Because this gives you 15 more breakthrough and 38 and a half more soft attack. This gives you 35 and 8 breakthrough. Well, let's give them more breakthrough. Screw it. We'll do it like this. Cool. And then quality, a quantity is a quality of itself. While the human wave strategy is a thing of the past, nobody said anything about the armored wave. The concept of having tanks have uh, to have a significant advantage over the enemy. Even at the cost of their build quality, maybe worth trying. Might as well. It's a year ahead of time, but I don't really care. The 
the line of animal hunters. The concept of self-propelled guns developed by our designers recently has led to quite interesting test results on the proving grounds, where it was once observed that the really powerful guns can be mounted on the chests of our tanks. Thanks to this, our self-propelled guns will be able to provide a very powerful support in storming enemy fortifications, as well as in battles with enemy armored vehicles. Nice. Tanks are get a lot better, but I'm not sure we're really going to use them, so. Terror of enemy tanks, i.e. a series of animal hunters. Cool. And then, Russian army stronger than all the rest. The Russian army is constantly modernizing. It's necessary to carry out one more great maneuver to check the effectiveness of the newly implemented technology, technologies and concepts. Come back to our armor here. So, what do we have? War brewing in the Mediterranean. Very nice. Oh, uh, we do have one heavy here. Uh, let's make it mechanized. What if we were to just go, like, heavy SP artillery? Sure, why not? Heavy SP artillery. Uh, hmm... I go with, like, nothing but heavies. Just tons and tons and tons of heavies. So we have, oh, we already have one, two, three, four. And then throw on another heavy tank. That's oh, already 40 combo. Holy crap. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Ours not bad. It's not bad, not bad. Go like that. Even more soft attack, maybe. This gives quite a bit more defense, which is pretty nice. So now we should really be out of heavies and SP artillery, so. We have some political power, finally. Hey, look at this. A masterpiece of gunsmithing. Plus 5% soft attack, way more reliability and breakthrough. Wow. A young and incredibly gifted infantry weapon constructor working in the main design office in Tula recently presented an amazing weapon design which, after passing the required test, seems to be the ideal magnus opum of Russian gunsmithing. Germany's felt threatened? As it should, probably. Any more military stuff here? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, obviously, we don't want to go to war with everybody, but we'll get to war with quite a few of those guys. Um, what's this one? Oh, yes. Please, modern tank production cost goes down, and heavy tank goes down. Nice. Our armor designers do not cease to amaze us. This time, well, look at that. A new type of tank has been successfully tested in one of our design offices, which, according to its creators, will soon conquer the battlefields. Nice. Definitely need more fuel, but at this point... Um, 32 soft attack, 35, 8 and a half, or 8.8, 8. rocket artillery, might as well use it once, making our boys bigger, because we like them thick. Oh, and you guys got to war with Italy. Finally, someone's going to kill each other off. Hopefully, at least. Hopefully. Weapon of the future, and then this one too. I do want to get some more airsoft as well. Now, that should be enough man for the field. Oh, come on, guys. Stop hurting us. Uh, Russian aviation comes first. The airports of the Russian Empire are the pride and glory of our state. Investing in them seems to be an absolute priority because war is changing. Now plans are the new rule of the battlefield. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. Danny Wright. I just want to go to war. How many men... I do not have a million manpower in the field already. Now we gotta wait. We're, we're filling up. We're filling up. Artillery. Oh, and rocket artillery too, huh? Kind of should have seen that one coming. Gotta keep making some cities though. But oh, one, boom, boom. Nice. Corner love. Pretty good. Um, I guess we can send volunteers, but I don't really feel like it. Let them try to kill each other off a whole bunch. Reduction's nice. Eh, that seems okay. More and more ambitious aircraft. Oh, here's the establishment of an aircraft construction complex in Moscow. Over the last 10 years, Moscow has become a paradise for aviation fans because it is here that the great designers such as Tupolev or Yulushin have established their aviation plans and design offices here. It will be the, the interest of our state to create a network connecting all these offices and factories, allowing our aviation to receive the best and most modern aircraft. Nice. Nuclear weapons concept? Oh, that would be really good to do as well. Yeah. Recovery. We lose. Oh, oh. Support equipment cost goes quite a bit up. Wow. Get quite a bit more recon, though. Which is not bad. 
Oh, it's gotten very laggy since these guys have killed each other off. But third Rome on the way to glory. Russia's not ready to take its rightful place in the world, and no enemy will stop us. Did I know we were on statism? No, no. Oh, yeah, I know we had interventionism, right? Re oh, no, real politique. Down to expansionism. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Finally, another research slot. Good God, we need a lot of fuel in that. Holy crap. Camouflage, it is 35, of course. Um, that's not worth getting just yet. Let's grab some as because we can. Hydration Assault, get some Land Night Attack. Uh, logistics 2. 5, Armor. Eh, that's a little bit out of time, that's fine, whatever. Followed up with what? Addition to the Tsar. So you guys are fighting nobody. It's the Italians. And the Tripartite. Pact. French Imperialism is back. Uh, oh, they. Mm, the French, Italians, and the Austrians are all together. Adolf? Right, Adolf? Just in case, it's time to let the Teutonic threat once and for all. The Germans made life too difficult for the Slavs in recent years. Giving them a solid lesson seems reasonable on our part. The Great Baltic War seems like a lot of fun. Ooh, civilian economy? Eh, seems okay. Let's get slightly more political power. Every cloud has a silver lining. That's fine with us. Absolutely okay with us. Uh, you know, build another one of these. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, build two of these up for now. Keep making more millies. We need more civvies too, but, you know, whatever. Okay, not doing too bad. Not too bad. More mechanized is pretty good, though. Nice. Um, these guys are only 20 combo. I would, like, make these guys all mechanized eventually, so we'll see, but for now, it's fine. It's going to cost us too much, whatever. So basically mechanized, 40 combat widths, and then we'll change these up a little bit more as time goes on, so just because we can. And we'll change the tank ones and mechanize as well, so. But we can afford it for now, so not bad. <sighs> Stop hurting and humiliating integralism. Jesus. I'll grab some of that too. Good. Nice land doctrine. The ambitions of the Tsar. League of Nations, what? What? Oh, we don't even have anything here. Realistic now, he has big plans. Just in case the Germans do something, time for the second round. The Austrians definitely want another war with us. It'll be our pleasure to declare it. So I definitely want to see what the Germans are up to first. Oh. Gotta see what they want to do with us. Okay. There you go. Um, duplicate you all. Two, go right there. One, two, go right there. One, two. Nice. Give me more planes. I yeah, got some naval bombers. That's pretty good. Look at you again. Go right there if you can. Get those naval bombers out real quick. Oil processing is nice. Get some more naval bombers too. All right, where are we at? It's not bad. Naval stuff. Oh, it's not very good, now, is it? Oh boy. I think that's enough for now. British Levant is gone. Oh. But I need them to fight the French, because they do that in the two-front war will be pretty good. Even though I don't mind fighting all of them at once. So. Oh, we have a lot of cavalry still. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, honestly, we don't want the cavalry anymore. Let's do that. That's fine. You know what? We could probably do this, too. Get an intelligence agency, because he can. Now for second round, yes please, trades will play with their blood. Cool. 
Very cool. And... Oh. Oh, it's going to be time. Very soon. Very, very soon. The Great Baltic War, huh? Tensions at peak once more. Cool. Sure. Uruguay. We welcome you, Uruguay. You're a guy. You're a guy. Yes, please. Oh, that's not bad. You're severe with love. Siam joins tripartite. Let's go with improving the fundamentals. Ooh, yes. Let's do this one just because we need to get more planes out. Such a large accumulation of factories specializing in aviation production even forces us to create a great aviation industry producing equipment for our air forces. Oh, oh, now they're going to war with each other. Ooh, that's not good. Here was torpedo strikes. Good, good, good. So now you are at war with them, right? Yes. At war with the Germans. I know you are the Germans. The reactionaries. Oh, I didn't even play these guys, though. That'd be kind of fun. Time for the Windsors. All right. Since we're here, tanks. We did go heavy, so... Go heavy or go home. Swiss Confederation joined the League of Nations. Defense. Meh. Supply consumption would be probably pretty good to do. Logistics. Even though I want to get attack. Let's try this one. Because we do have some tanks. And I want to make sure that they're okay as well. That's going to be a lot of supply usage. So Keep you guys around St. Petersburg, honestly. Just keep them there for now. Fine with us. Who's so... Oh, crap. That's not good. They go to war with us, actually. Because we have a massive border here. And then another massive border there. And the Trey Partita is actually doing relatively okay. So we went to war with the Germans, the Reichspact. Oh, we have a big old border here too. That's my bad. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, actually, no, I want you guys over here. Do I? Yeah, actually, no. Yeah, you guys should go over there. But realistically, you guys should be under him, and you should be under him. Like that, it's a little better. Then again, that might be too many soldiers for being over there, so. Thank you. So one of these guys have a land war. Time for second round. The bear hunts eagle. Last war for the Austrians. The land speed fort. Cool. Learn about tactics of war air warfare. The Russian Air Force is the leader in air combat. Nothing can change that. Continue research into new air combat tactics. Must continue. Absolutely. French war in Spain, huh? Are oh, they by themselves, huh? Oh, the right specters of oh. Yeah, I do want to see them take out the UK though. That'd be kind of cool. Sure, Bolivia. Why not? The real biggest air show. Such a large number of airplanes and ambitious aviators at our disposal are even asking us for a great air show. During these air maneuvers, more smalotations will take... Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. Come on, man. Will take part than even in the previous so-called largest air show conducted by our British rivals. Nice. So, what, what's happening here? So, we're doing okay here and here. Motorized rocket artillery we could use a little bit more of. We're going to pack some Americana. The Americans are getting involved now. Um, heavy tanks are doing it quite a bit better. Light tanks are okay. Drop it down to three. Drop it down to one. Really, it's not bad. I'll we'll protect ourselves. And six research slots. How do we get that one? We need more. Oh, we need more stability. That's all we need. Well, we're going to go to war soon, anyways. Russian war school or air, air war school. The Russian Air School must be necessarily the elite among the, the, all the aviation places in the world. Would you all be able to win there? Maybe. Portuguese Republic is gone now. Um... There you go, I'll help out us a little bit more, hopefully. 
400. Your airspeed record. The French are threatening Swiss neutrality. Let everyone kill each other first. That's probably the most important thing to remember. Uh, Raj it up. Yes, please. Just kind of want to go to war with them anyways. I guess, yeah, we ought to defend that. Oh. That's the League of Nations. So now the Tripartite is fighting them as well. Uh, our soldiers are basically over here already, ready to go. Some issues with supply, which is fine. We'll do the air show in a little bit. I do want to make sure that Mongolia is good to go. Strength and tactical capabilities of the Mongolian army. Mongolia is a relatively trusted ally, and therefore it's a good decision to support their army and the necessary knowledge of its fourth verge of modernization in the face of modern war. Might as well. Could we beat the Germans? Probably not very quickly. So we'll see what happens. We got that front. We got this front, unfortunately, which is doing okay-ish. And then I'm not going to be worried too much about this, especially the attack up here. Because we got quite a few divisions on this border. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll just be, try to be delicate with this. Is this a bad idea? Oh, you bet it is. But I do want to go to war, so. Could we actually win, like, here-ish? Maybe. There's definitely a maybe. Let them stack up, stack up on us. And we'll see what we can do. Should be able to win. Uh, can you just both go here? Yes. Probably actually might not be able to win right there, but we'll see. Sure, guys. Take some artillery. We love artillery. Here. More attack. Uh, modernizing the Mongolian cavalry. Mongols are specialists in cavalry war from the Far Eastern steppes. Force your times are changing, and this is necessary to adopt to new conditions. With their help, they'll be able to do so much faster. Yeah, now we're really out of stuff here. Holy crap. I'll have to do that just in case. We won't need that spare army, so. Nice. Electrician bombing is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. Nice. Task force has been destroyed. Not bad. Some of our divisions just look so bad. Cool. <coughs> well, we're going through Prussia. Not bad so far. Not bad. I saw that one coming. Sure. Head on in. How many men have we lost? 8,000 versus... Wow. 24,000? Not bad. Not much. Scrooge. Cool. Max planning is awesome. At least for us. Uh, go in there, too. Are they actually attacking us? No. Yeah. Let's see what you can do about that. Uh, hop out here, too. Anton Denikin's pretty good on the attack. Very, very good. Go up there and encircle these guys if we possibly can. Nice, 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 nice. And I'll take all of you. I'll take you five, but not really you five. You might not be able to win there because I would like to attack here as well. I'll take all of you guys here. Very cloud. Yes, Japan, yes. Support the attack if you can. Extension of the Trans-Siberian Railway. Trans-Siberian Railway should be expanded with additional network of tracks, which should allow for more efficient movement through the territories of our allies. Do they have air superiority? No, we do. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Strategic bombers. 
I'll go with this, go with that. I understand how we're losing here, but whatever. Oh, now we're winning. Huh. God dang it, Poland. British Shriek, nice. Come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. Hey, look at that. We lost two planes? Wow, that's not too bad. It's like a lot of uh, Dutch stuff. Lots of complaints. Probably lost a ship, whatever. Things happen, you know. Hey, not bad. We actually circled four divisions. Fuel refining, grab some more output, or I guess construction speed at this point. I do want to go at least Austria too. Portable radios, nice. Hey, we got him. Not bad, not great. Obviously, we would like to have more, but overall, not too shabby. Strengthening our borders with China's. No matter which China wins the civil war, its hostility towards Russia will remain certain. Thus, it would be necessary to support our allies so that in the hour of trial, they'll be able to prove their usefulness. Expanding the mining infrastructure of Uyghurstan. Uyghurstan is a country with rich and various deposits of raw materials. Support for the program of the extraction certainly help to move the local economy forward. Absolutely. Government lobby. Um. What am I doing that one? Sucks, bro. I don't want to keep my army over there, so we got to keep doing that for now. Uh, let's see. These guys are all going to be tough nuts to crack, which sucks, but whatever. Oh, we definitely need way more artillery. Holy crap. Three eighty-five. Hmm. Königsberg would be pretty nice. I just don't think we can take it, though. I mean, with the amount of damage we're doing to each other, kind of nuts. Couldn't quite win there, huh? Gotta use that armor. But then if we don't keep divisions down here, well, they'll probably go to war with us. Hmm. Construction of an indu industrial district in Urumqi. I don't understand. Should have a more developed military industry capable of producing more enough equipment to maintain its own army logistics. That's fine. Cool. Hmm. Oh wow! Look at this. Holy crap! Nice. They got some serious carriers there, though. Oh, they lost. We lost. Oh, we lost some heavies. Bro, that sucks. Not sure if that's really a victory. Three heavies, yeah. It's not really much of a victory, is it? Go ahead and repair. That's fine. That's some really fat German divisions. Let's see what else can we do here. Nothing there. Air doctor, maybe? Maybe? Former department? Maybe? From the spy master? Oh, we got captured, huh? Should have realized that a little bit earlier. Well, that sucks, bro. Sucks to suck. Then again, we can't crack the German lines, which sucks. Ugh. Republic. I just want China to go to war. Please, let China go. There you go. They have forts. Level two, level, level two forts. How? We have air superiority and we're destroying their air force. Yeah, sometimes the, the mod just seems like it's, it cheats. Look at all these divisions. 
four, three. We have air superiority as well. That's making no sense, though. The friendship issues with the peoples of the Middle East. The Middle East is a fascinating region which people who hate us extremely, and people who treat us in a very positive way. So anything in our authority there would be a very good idea. And then we're gonna keep going with what? The real biggest air show, yeah. No, that one definitely. Nice. Finally we can get something here. At this point, just like leave and come back here. Except for like you, no, you, just in case. It's fine. Oh boy, nice convoy sunk. Now we're gonna actually use our tanks. Hopefully, once those other armies come back. Because we need to just blow through it. Using infantry is not a great idea, but whatever. More bonds, might as well. Get more stuff created and made. Nice. Oh, parachute divisions would be nice. Let's do that one. Strengthen the Russian Aviation Corps. Next. Russia is the amazing airmen willing to fight and win great victories for our motherland. Pretty much. Come over here. Sick of waiting around for this. Don't like that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Nice. Get them tanks and motorized, see if they can pierce us. They probably can, honestly, but we'll see. That's what we're here for, just to see and test things out. Oh, we actually do have a little bit of spider rubber ourselves. Oh, that's not good. We actually need some steel. All right. Can you win here? Real biggest issue. Russia shows her power is very nice. You honestly should be able to, but then again, I've been wrong before. Oh, look at that. Now you're here, too. Cool. Uh, nuclear war concept. The nuclear research of our scientists led to the argument that soon, the war may take a radically different shape from the current one. Allowing the scientists to continue their work and finding out properly should not harbor Brian this quite intriguing vision. I actually got it. Look at that. Nice. So, my plans go from here to Barnstein. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I want to cut off Koenigsberg. Ooh, the supplies are not very good around here. Are they? No, they're not. Going through here and go there. Um, cool. Sergei Markov. Maybe you force the attack. There you go. Get those sinks in there. Hopefully these guys can get in there and do okay. Yeah, we overran them. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Incredible idea of parachute troops. The concept of airborne troops seems to be quite ambitious. If a bit crazy, it's essential to carry out further tests to see if it's actually possible to create such troops. Nice. Just go ahead and go on in. Every cloud has a silver lining. You stop humiliating us, man. Putting up is not bad. Some of that too. Not bad. Hey, look at that, nice. Hey, that's pretty good. Nice, Königsberg has fallen. Beautiful, my friends. 
Koenigsberg is ours. Up next. Uh, I'm gonna punch a hole through here. Hopefully like this, maybe? After that, actually, I want to upgrade Poland. Our uh, supply over here is not that great. Where, is the Where are the Poles? New stage of cooperation with Poland. Poland, to our partial surprise, has decided not to betray our lines, thus securing the title of Soyuz Nik's western flank. Therefore, we should support them as much as possible. The Poles will be a great help if the Germans ever want to take advantage of us again. Nice. Ah, yes. And uh, improving economic ties, look at that. The program of economic cooperation with Poland should strengthen the Polish economic capabilities and provide us with a more valuable ally. Cool. Now, we're suffering from supply issues as well. Great. Just what we wanted. Breslau. Go there, too. Nice. The tanks die, the tanks die. Go on in, boys and girls. Flood on in through. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff right here. Go, 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 go. Get Breslau. Get Breslau. Get Breslau. Come on. Oh, well, that was so close. Maybe not, but whatever. Come on. Alright, you want to do that type of crap? We'll go and go right here then. You're their choice. Yeah, I came in there. God dang it, you piece of garbage. Support the defense program. Poles are very good soldiers, and for their homeland, they are ready to fight until the last one. You just need to make sure that they know on whose side they're fighting. Go straight into here. Force it. I'm not going to tolerate defeat there. Sergei Markov better get used to losing a lot of tanks. And, boom. Nice. I hate these stupid little rovers, though. And we're going to move them around a little bit more as well. Alright. Uh, there's really just nowhere good of places, guys. It's very slow going, too, so. Poland is the western flank of the Soyuz Niki. Oh, look. Venezuela. Certain animosities with Poles are difficult to blur, but it's possible to divert their attention from the not necessarily positive history of our relations with the help of certain promises of territorial gains. Look at that. Yeah, now what you can do about that there. Just him, huh? Alright. Well, they can pierce us, which is kind of disappointing, to be honest with you, but whatever. We lost immediately. This is dumb. I don't like how stagnant this is. I mean, this is just, just grindy. Oh, we try to come over here. Can we do this? Oh, I can't even build on stuff in here, which is dumb, too. Oh. What about construction, shipyard, buildings, facilities? But Baltic is the base of our fleet in the Baltic Sea. If only if their infrastructure is properly developed, will it be possible to fully develop the potential of our fleet? There you go. Wait, what? How do we lose? What? Hmm. Sure. Where are these guys too? Central planning is not bad. If we get some more organization, that'd be very good for us. Very, 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 very good. Nice. There we go. That's not bad. Go on in immediately. Kill them all off. If you can, of course. Maybe if you like it. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. 
Olive Stein would be good to get too. Man, you guys suck. Huh. High level bombing's nice. Good. Profits of the Port of Riga. The revenues from the large commercial port in Riga should be directed to the development of the country's military infrastructure. Thanks to which it will be possible to increase the value of the army of their army during the war. You want to keep losing or what? You literally have nowhere to run. Good. We lost hundred thirteen thousand. We've only killed off a third of a million. Well, now it's 440,000. Not bad, a little better. Look, the Chile is gone. Gleiswitz. The plan is, go from here. Get straight to Bromberg, if possible. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Down with the wind? Nice. And, some more fuel because you can. Great comeback of the French Navy. Port Profits of Port Riga. Prebaltica, our trusted vassal. Well, Prebaltica is a valuable island's potential should be developed to the maximum. The center of our western flank must be strong. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Your goals will go right there. You're going to force the attack. You're going to force these guys to go through as well. Lots of support. Lots of support. Let's go. Let's go. Get caught somehow, some way. Going two, going two. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Before anyone else gets in there. God dang it, they got their tanks in there too. Up, up, up. Come on. Oh, we got in there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we barely made it in there. You want to attack? Immediately begin attacking there too. Oh, widen it up. Widen that sucker up. Drop to the port, Probitica. Oh, there's no better friends than old rivals. Our arrival with the Ottoman Empire ended almost 20 years ago with our triumph, and now it's time to rebuild a common future for nations. Perhaps they're direct, direct in the spirit of revanchism. A territorial revanchism of the Turks remains a rather troublesome issue. Perhaps it's time necessary to give them new practical claims. Ottomans are St. Petersburg Stock Exchange. Economic development of Anatolia is necessary in view of our rivalry with Great Britain. The more of our allies' industry develops, the better. Even it means granting equal status to Ottoman and Russian entrepreneurs in the St. Petersburg Stock Exchange and French propaganda. Although our peoples were divided by various animosities in the past, today we are on the same right side. It's imperative that we and the Turks finally understand this. But if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we'll hopefully smash the Germans and maybe end the tripartite pact as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.